Using a scheduling tool to offer your leads, clients or colleagues a convenient and fast way to book free or paid meetings, appointments or events with you is a must-have if you run an online business. This is how you can integrate and embed Cal.com in different ways in any of your System.io landing pages, funnels, blogs or websites. Welcome to episode 3 of System.io Snaps, the short and snappy tutorial series for all System.io users, both beginners and advanced. First of all, why did I choose Cal.com and not a tool that probably most people know about, Calendly? In a nutshell, I wanted to use a free, simple, minimalistic and open source platform and Cal.com ticks all these boxes and is perfect for what I need. It offers lots of features and integrations to other apps such as Google Calendar, Zapier, Stripe, PayPal and many more. Video calls are held and recorded directly within the tool without the need of other tools like Zoom, Meet, Teams, etc. Check it out, it's definitely a great tool. Now let's dive into how you can embed Cal.com in any of your System.io pages. Once you've created your Cal.com account, you can go to event types and then here on the right let's create a new event for this tutorial. Enter a name, a custom URL, a description, a duration and then click continue. Now we could add or change a whole bunch of other things on our event like availability, layout, booking questions, redirects, private links and many more. We could connect apps for payments, automation, analytics etc and set up reminder workflows. But for this tutorial we skip all this and leave everything on the default settings. So let's look at the embed methods by clicking on this icon here. There are now three different ways how we can embed our event in a page plus one way to embed it in an email. In this video we'll only focus on the first three here so let's go through them one by one. When you click on any of the methods you can change some specific settings on the left and on the right there's the HTML code, the React code and you can also see a preview. To add this cal.com event to our system.io page we first need to copy the HTML code here so click on copy code and then head over to system.io. On your system.io page scroll down on the left side until you see the raw HTML element and then drag it onto the page where you want your calendar to appear. In this case let's just drop it between these two sections here. Then click on the element and after that on the edit code button here. Paste the code you copied from cal.com and click save. Then save the page and click on the eye icon to preview the page. And as you can see everything looks great and works fine. Perfect! Let's go back to cal.com and look at the second embed method. Click on it and then change any settings if you want, check the preview and copy the HTML code. Now unlike the first inline embed that we placed at a defined position on the page, this second method here is a floating button that always stays in the bottom right corner of our page. Because of that we need to paste the HTML code here in the side to white settings. So click on settings, then scroll down and click on edit header code. As you can see there's already some code in here that is part of the design of this system.io page template. So let's just paste our code at the bottom and then click save. After that save the page and preview it. And once again you can see that it works perfectly fine and everything looks as we have defined it in the settings in cal.com which in our case here is everything on default. Now the third embed method involves a few more steps but don't worry I'll show you exactly how to do it with system.io. Speaking of system.io if you don't have an account yet click the first link at the top of the description to get some free bonuses from me when you sign up. Also let me know in the comments below what system.io topics you would like me to cover in these short tutorials. Okay let's look at the third way to embed cal.com which is the pop-up via element click method that I also use on my website that I briefly showed you in the intro. With this method the cal.com pop-up opens when someone clicks on an element on your page which in most cases will probably be a button. Now unlike with the first two methods we cannot just copy and paste this code here to make it work. We have to make a few manual adjustments so let me walk you through the setup. Unfortunately we face the limitation that we can't simply apply any custom HTML or JavaScript code to one of these drag and drop buttons or image elements here. There is no HTML code option available for these page elements and the only available action that we can assign to a button are the ones in this drop down menu here. I tested it and got it to work partially with a separate piece of JavaScript that we could add to the page to assign the required cal.com attributes to an existing button but it's nothing more than a dodgy workaround that has some unwanted side effects. So the only real option is to just use one raw HTML element in which we not only run the cal.com code but also display a button at the same time. Instead of using a drag and drop button element we use a piece of simple HTML code to create a new button. This is exactly how I do it on my website. First of all just copy the cal.com code and then paste it into an empty text file your code editor of choice or your notes app. This is just to make it easier to edit and adjust the code before we paste it into our system.io page. To now create the button with HTML and make it all work 
A few steps are necessary, but it's quite simple to follow along. Start by copying the piece of code that I put in the video description below and paste it above the cal.com text in our text file. If you know HTML, this is the code that generates the button for us. Don't worry if you don't know how to write HTML, just use this as a template and adjust it as follows. The five parts of the code that you absolutely must change are the ones that are written in capital letters. Let's go through them one by one and start at the bottom with the button text. This is the text you want to show on your button. So for this tutorial, let's say book a call. Next, set layout and calcom link is the information provided by cal.com. So look down here in the code that we copied. In this tutorial, we left the default month view setting. So this is the part we need to copy and replace this set layout placeholder here. Then this nyavimi slash tutorial part is the link to my event on cal.com. In your case, this will be something similar showing your username and the name of your event. So copy this part and replace the calcom link part here. Next are the HTML element ID and the parent ID that need to be replaced with your actual data. To get these pieces of information, let's jump back to our system.io page. Now drag and drop a raw HTML element to the position where you want the button to be on your page. For this tutorial, let's just place it here between these two main sections. Now click on this raw HTML element and scroll all the way down on the left, then copy this ID attribute by clicking on the small icon here. This is our HTML element ID, so paste it here to our right placeholder. With the HTML element still selected, look at this breadcrumb navigation at the top here. Click on the next element to the left of the raw HTML element. This is the parent element of our new button. So I click on row here and then again scroll all the way down to copy the ID attribute. This one replaces the parent ID placeholder. So paste it here. Stay with me. If it's going too fast, stop the video anytime to go back. It's basically just copying and pasting the right data into the right places. The last step is to delete these lines here that start with double forward slashes. These are just comments and no longer relevant because we added the required attributes already. Now we have our full code here that we can copy and paste into our HTML element on our page. After that, save the code, save the page and preview it. Now you can see this button here that is generated by our code and the cal.com integration works as well. The last thing you might wonder is how to change the look of this button. Let's look at the code once again. Everything you see here after style is what defines the button color, the text color, the font, font size, drop shadow, etc. Play around with these settings or if you need help, ChatGPT is a great tool for this. For example, let's copy this part here from style until the end here, including the quotation mark. Then head over to ChatGPT and ask it to change the color to a light red, reduce the font size to 16, change the line height accordingly and remove the drop shadow. Submit your request together with the code snippet and wait for the result. Finally, copy the code and paste it back into system.io and preview your page again. There you go. The button is now red and with a smaller font, just as we asked ChatGPT to do. Now, one of the best places where you could put your cal.com integration is on your own link page that you can also build for free with system.io. Watch this video next to learn why you should be using your own link page and how you can easily create one.